now that we're back out, pretty simple. We just gotta find our way back to the mantis. That's easy enough. Gotta make sure we fight the probe droid here. Let's see if we can do a 360. All right, ready? All right, I did a 180. All right. All right, F that. Bye. So, which way do I go to get out of here? Do I need to go back down into... I need to go back down into the mines so that I can then... Hit, yeah. I have no force. No, that leads out to the pulverizers. Uh, I need to find a way back down into the mines so that I can loop back, right? Is that the only way? No, I can go through the village, I think. Right? I don't remember. I need to look at the map because I'm a little lost. Okay. Um, let's see. Oh, and there's a spot right there too that I can force push open. Look at that. I wouldn't have noticed. Oh, I can slice it. Luckiest stormtrooper. All right, uh, let's slice through this door. This way. I think we'll probably get something cool. Hell yeah. Come back here. Something we can use. Duty and resolve too. Oh, some more lightsaber parts. Excellent. Okay, so. My question becomes, where do we go from here to get back to where we want to be? And that's the answer. We go through here. Okay. Splinter says, I love that one guy just pretending nothing is happening behind him. Yeah, that's Jeremy. It's my buddy Jeremy. He didn't want to, uh, he didn't want to start nothing. He's a chill guy. There we go. I like how the UI element is just like also on that, like as a diegetic button. It's fun. I'm really loving how the ultra wide mod is looking, Come on, don't even in cutscenes. But I mean, the game just natively supports this kind of ultra wide, but like, especially in cutscenes, just looks so good. All right, uh, which way do I want to go? Guess it's this way. I see you, Jedi. That'll teach me. I need to remember how to actually get back down to the ice caves. I don't have the map of this world like fully memorized yet. I can't remember exactly how to get everywhere.
Huh, okay. That would take me down here. Venator wreckage. Okay, so that would take me to the Venator, which would ultimately take me back to here because they're linked with that uh, shortcut. But how do I get just from here to the ice caves? Because I don't think they're that far away. I guess the pulverizers? Yeah. Uh, I don't want to go through that. What is over here? Oh, just the shortcut. I'm watching you. Yeah, okay. Faffin' about in Zepho. So we just need to get back over there. Okay. So yeah, I guess we're going off uh, across the pulverizers again. And then once we do that, we'll be back at uh, where we need to be. Okay, there we go. Alright, I think this will take us where we want. Beautiful. Look at that that Tie Fighter, though. They definitely have a uh, have an idea of where we are. Yeah. Okay. This is where I wanted to go. We're good. So we're back in the ice caves. We can take the elevator back up to the shortcut to the Mantis. I think we could have maybe worked our way backwards to town, but I think there might be a slide that prevents us. I'm not 100% sure. So, in either way, we uh, were able to check out that room that we needed to slice into. So. No time lost. And we were able to grab this. New Mantis paint job, Charisma, cool. Yes, okay, this is where we wanted to go. So much fun. I will say these sections significantly easier to control on controller. <laughs> Except maybe that. I think I didn't get enough lift. I think that's the issue. What the? <laughs> I 
Why do I keep jump? What? What's going on there? That is bizarre. All right, got one more try to make this work. Oh boy, I'm gonna lose my mind if we die here. What is going on with this jump? What is happening? Why is this happening to me? This never happened to me once when I played originally. I think this might be a uh, downside of having a really powerful computer now. <laughs> oh my god. Ah. I, I, I don't care. Try going over here. Yeah. Maybe we can make it back with this. I don't know though. we're ready for the first boss <laughs> of the game the first actual boss of the game yeah we can go through the here okay cool I knew we were forgetting a, a shortcut but I couldn't remember exactly how to get there but we got that cool artifact so or not the artifact the paint job so all's well that ends well I guess we were just being thorough We have pretty much all the skills we're gonna want in this fight anyway. I'm liking right. this. I can't hit him. I know it would end like this. Oh, he can slice that one now. Sick. Oh, all right then. Did you find something, BD1? New lightsaber material, durite. Hell yeah. The Jedi is here. Don't whip up now. I can't land a hit. There we go. Alright, so now it's time to fight the ATST from earlier that we kind of dodged. Which, in our defense, we had things to do. We were busy. We we're busy people. Busy people with lots of stuff to do.
Oh, oops. I didn't even notice a grenade was there. All right. Try number two. We'll make it work this time. Man, we're not doing bad for a 1030 stream, huh? All right. Especially one with this little commentary is giving right now. I'm kind of just kind of zoning out everyone. <laughs> the VODs here are going to be rough. I'm sorry. Okay. Come on. Oh no. PD1. <laughs> I got a little bit panicked there for a second. All right. Try three. Third tries of charm, right? Time's a charm, baby. Got three fingers for a reason. All right, ATST. Susceptible to sabotage of its own grenades and missiles, legs are vulnerable. The all-terrain scout transport, also known as a scout walker, is a lightweight bipedal two-person transport deployed for ground force support in the Galactic Empire. They were often used for swift reconnaissance in targeting smaller threats that evaded the larger AT-ATs. Equipped with chin-mounted medium blaster cannons capable of firing at a range of two clicks, as well as a side cannon armed with rockets and concussion grenades targeting enemy vehicles and ground troops at close range. As I said, basically farming equipment. I love that there are pilots inside of them that try to fight you. Casual little stroll. Nice work out there, kid. Hey, you got some real moves on you. <laughs> Just tell me that this visit wasn't for nothing. I found the tomb of a Zepho Sage. They definitely used the Force. An advanced civilization of Force wielders who mysteriously vanished. No wonder Master Cordova became so obsessed with them. What else did you find? Before they disappeared, the Zepho journeyed to the planet Kashyyyk. Oh. Cordova had a Wookiee friend named Tarful. Maybe we can find him. Sheik, I look, things are really bad down there. The, the Empire's muscling in on those Wookiees big time. Then we better get ready for a fight. I think this lifestyle suits you. Fighting that walker seems to have made you more confident. So, how are you holding up? You mean with the Force? Yes, with the Force. I know you said it could be overwhelming. I haven't gotten myself killed yet. I'd rather not talk about it. Yeah, well, I understand. More than you realize. Well, why'd you choose to stop using the Force? When the Purge started, and our clone troops turned against us, my Padawan and I took several younglings and we went into hiding. But we didn't last long. Imperial Patrol was about to discover our location, so... I tried to lure them away from my Padawan, Trilla. She stayed behind with the younglings. But they caught me. And they tortured me. They wanted to know about the others and... how many were left, but mostly they wanted to know about... Cordova. And where he went. But you escaped. It was a prison riot. I saw my opportunity and I took it. But they almost broke me. And I am not the same as I was, Cal. Your Padawan. Did she survive? 
No. Good performances. But that's why we can't give up. We can't let the sacrifice of those closest to us be for nothing. Two people bonding over their trauma. Good stuff. So Seer's Padawan. Seer shares an awful memory about her past. During the Jedi Purge, she was captured and tortured by the Empire. She was able to escape, but her Padawan was not so lucky. Years later, the event has left her scarred and reluctant to use the Force. So again, we got all the Zepho, looks like all the Zepho villager story pieces. That's cool. Well, except one, maybe? Even though it, we have ten, but it says we have nine out of ten. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, we're missing seven. Okay, we'll have to find that. Um, Sage Elrom, we're missing one piece of it. Venator Rect, we only have one. So we got a lot of stuff to go back to that for. Uh, let's plant some seeds. Reese is a better gardener than I thought. Give me a minute. I'm siphoning Imperial data. <laughs> yeah, bro, I'm siphoning Imperial data, too. <sighs> okay yeah I'm great just enjoying some peace and quiet he's a little antsy a little antsy about something all right let's look at our lightsaber parts huh so we unlocked a whole ton of lightsaber parts Duty and Resolve. This is the uh, the lightsaber. This is the emitter I have for my lightsaber at home. The one that is customized specifically for me. I do like Valor and Wisdom as a switch. I'm not a fan of Elemental Nature. I don't think it looks very good. So yeah, we're gonna stick with my Guido campaign, and I think this is the this is the loadout we're gonna use for now. That's pretty cool. <clears throat> Osmeridium, this is a cool one. Kind of dull. Cerakote is also cool. It has like an oiled bronze look. Copper, of course, sick as hell. Tura steel. Slivian iron, that's rose gold, yeah. Osmeridium, and th this one is like kind of greenish bronze. I do like this one a lot, but it, I don't think it looks as good as the Maigita one proper, but And what are we gonna do for our sleeve? We'll probably just We could um, yeah, we can just use Jarrah to or the Umbaran one. That does look kind of nice. Cool saber. Uh, let's look at the yellow blade, the orange blade. I haven't actually ever used it because it's kind of goofy. That's kind of neat. Orange lightsaber. We'll use it for now because it, uh, gives you more light basically i mean it's not like on purpose it's just like it's like a brighter color so it's easier to see when you cast shadows and stuff yellow is my favorite lightsaber color personally but orange i can settle for it uh i just wanted to come out here really quick to check something uh because i think there was a Scomp Link box in here, wasn't there? Am 
might be wrong about that. Maybe it just looked like one. Oh no, there was that one that we got. Okay. <laughs> God, the... <laughs> Orange lightsaber is so funny. Let's go back. Just wanted to make sure we weren't forgetting that. We are gonna go back to Zepho. Can I initiate any conversations? Where did the two of them go? I guess they're just around, huh? Look at that. Okay, so we can see outside without the fog of war because of the ultra wide. Look at how beautiful that is. And they obscure it all with the fog so that you can't see any of it. The little details that are amazing, huh? The majesty. Alright. Cordova had supplies hidden all over Bagano. Could be worth a trip back to explore. It is. I don't know why people have droids. Tell that to him. He can understand you. He can? <laughs> Look, I, I didn't mean anything by it. Droids just freak me out. What doesn't? You sound like an imp. They deactivate droids just because they can. That oh. makes him one of us. Oh. Oh. oh, great. I take it back. You're all right, buddy. <laughs> Uh, Grease is just such a riot. All right, we're here. All right, uh, one thing I want to look at. Let's look at the different Mantis color schemes we got. Oh, Charisma is just black and gold, but a different combination of black and gold, I guess. And Occultation is, uh, Imperial. Might be a good disguise. BD1. What colors do we want? We're gonna make him Bumblebee. So there's two areas immediately on Pagano I want to check out. Oh man, look at the Binog. So cute, it was rolling over. Quiet. Too quiet. Not a fan of nature, Grease? Not only behind glass. Otherwise, nature's not a fan of me. I mean, I may have four arms, but if you haven't noticed, I'm basically bite-sized for most deadly creatures. <laughs> so you and C have been here a few times? Oh, we've been all over the place. Non-stop tour the galaxy with her. But she's paying the bills, so I can't complain, really. Better than hiding on a scrapyard for years. Oh, that I can agree with. I mean, I've seen trash heaps before, and that planet was the trashiest. I can't believe anyone would... Sorry. You're not wrong. <laughs> if you see a deadly dangerous monster, kill it before it kills me, will you? <laughs> Grease is a lot of fun. I like him a lot. Where's Seer, though? I guess she's probably standing outside. Yeah. Yep, she's out here. Making good progress, Cal. I'm glad you're with us. Well, we got a galaxy to save. Not an easy task. Are you sure you're up to it? I'll be okay. It's better than hiding on Braca. I've been to many different planets in the galaxy searching for, well, you. Unless we stop the Empire, we'll all be gone, hidden or not. I'm ready. Good. You must have come here a lot with Cordova. No. Actually, he never brought me here. He did tell me about it. I was the only one who knew of its location. He trusted you. I suppose he did. He trusted I'd believe him and finish what he started. 
Hopefully he was right. BD1 thinks so. This one bright droid. <laughs> uh, it's so Let's sweet. Keep progress. Let's keep making progress. I like the way Seer thinks. Oh, hey there, little guy. We'll find you a home. Look how fucking cute that thing is. How is that thing not someone's persona yet? This is the same kind of sphere and socket from Zepho. What do you think it does? I gotta get it over there, right? Brute force does the trick. Let's get our Estus shard. Hell yeah! With this, you and I are gonna be unstoppable. There. So the first time I beat this game, I had seven of these, and we're already at five. So we're doing pretty good. Alright, so there's one other area I think we can interact with stuff. That would be great to explore. So let's do that. Can't slice that anymore. I think there are some things that we need to be able to slice, like by Ogdo Bogdo. So let's go do that as well. Getting the scomp link that early was nice. Normally you have to go back to get it. I think, or rather most people will go back to get it after. Um, after that planet, so getting it when we did was convenient. Apollo says, this planet is the best because it has the best boy on the horizon. Yeah, I love the Binog. He's so good. Uh, this way we want to go. For two reasons. There's that, and I thought I could interact with that. Can I not? I guess I, I might need to force pull that. Yeah, I guess I probably need to force pull that. So never mind. We don't, we can't go there, but we can go this way. I need to check the environment again to see if there's or like the map to see if there's anything that we haven't we weren't able to access. Actually, there is, there's another spot. There's a, uh, there's a bridge we needed to force push that we couldn't before. So now we should be able to do that. I need to use this. Hey! What's that, people? Want? New poncho material, Sumi. We'll give him the pink poncho, why not? I actually think it's hideous. <laughs> it looks terrible. Let's, uh, there we go. Slightly more color coordinated. So next, we want to go this way. Oh, I guess I can go through this shortcut. Keep forgetting about that. Yeah. That door doesn't open from this side, so we can't get there, at least not from where we were. But I think we should 
be able to get down here. Get messed up. There we go. Alright, now we can force push that and explore this side, which we weren't able to get to before. Hey. Oh, something was in there. It's gag wave. Look at that. We got goth BD1. <laughs> Pastel Goth BD1. <laughs> Bagano Great Divide. Oh, look at that little bogling. Stuff under the water down there that we won't be able to open. Someone would pick up his trail, but left BD1 to guide them. My friend, I flew with all haste to Coruscant and presented my findings to the Council. Despite my persistence, despite my research, they do not take this threat seriously. Only one person believed in me. My old confidant, Jocasta, knew. She entrusted me with a holocron from the Jedi Archives, a secret copy of her list of young Force sensitives. So Jocasta New is the librarian uh, at the Jedi Council. What's that? Droid Cairn. These scraps served as cairns for the droids who helped build the research station on Bagano. Without their help, little would be known about the Zepho or something? their fault. Is this just another... Yeah, this is a lightsaber station. Okay. This hilt belongs oh. to Cordova. Feels weird to say about someone I've never met, but it's kind of comforting. I did we get an upgrade? This place is special. We did. We got yeah, the saber staff. I want to keep a piece of him with us. So we got the saber staff early. Yeah. Double-bladed lightsaber. The double-bladed lightsaber excels at crowd control. Use forced attack to overwhelm and clear large groups. Continue blocking after successfully reflecting a blaster bolt to reflect additional bolts back at your enemies. Yay, I'm so happy we got the saber staff <laughs> already. Uh, that makes things so much cooler. I totally forgot this is where it was, so I had I had no clue, truly. All right, let's see what his saber would have looked like, right? All right. Uh, Now we have access to cooler, <laughs> cooler things. We have his sleeve now too, which is the one I wanted. Power and wisdom, duty and resolve. The reason why I don't like the My Guido campaign one is because it's not, uh, they're like, both of these are just asymmetrical, but they're asymmetrical uh, with, e with themselves, not with each other. So <laughs> it just ends up looking a little weird. I like duty and resolve for that. There we go. That's a cool, that's a cool lightsaber.
I think that's everything in this room. So yeah, definitely worth coming back to Zepho for this, huh? And look at that. All right, let's look at our map. Oop, we opened our map into a wall. Let's look at our map and see if there are any other areas that we can now access. It seems like there are down there. So we should go down. So this was a very lucrative uh, trip back to to Zepho, not Zepho, Pagano. Help me, BD1. Thank you. Imagine getting that much airtime. Oh, that would be such a joy. Bones. Yeah, but they're incredibly old. And tell much from them. Oh, dang, I got overwhelmed bad. <laughs> that was not good.